and for some reason something made me pick up this tape and my mom did not want me to pick it up and uh, because she was saying this this must be satanic music this is music that you shouldn't be listening to but obviously I picked it up anyway and then someone gave me a tape basically and that's it hooked <laughs> <laughs> for life exactly <laughs> to go to a Martyrium concert actually, it was 2010, but I was too young to get going. And I got like really into writing, so I used to write at school, during lessons, I was a bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> we got together in my parents' basement and uh, made some noise and uh, we really, it really worked out. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it started uh, as a joke, sort of, you know. Yeah. We've got a problem here, I mean. We need change. Metal has a, has a sort of taboo, you know? Sometimes when we reflect on heavy metal, we often have this imagery of people, you know, either dabbed in, in coarse paint, uh, sacrificing virgins on an altar by taking a They bit get funding because, because, the, because the, they're not associated with Satan. Exactly. I've seen the scene going from being almost mainstream, like being a rocker was considered the norm. One drawback that I see today is that many bands or many musicians are getting a bit lazier. But I want to play live, it's kind of the buzz of everything, you know. There are many musicians, there are a good number of organizers and there are not enough fans to attend these events. You have to experience it to, to, to believe it and to really understand what it is.